So there's been a massive update in the Tate case where transcripts of WhatsApp conversations between two of the alleged victims have been leaked. And what's really interesting is that when you go through these conversations, you see that the US woman and the UK Moldovan woman were conspiring together to frame Andrew and Tristan Tate. I encourage you to go through the conversations yourself and read them. Don't just take my word for it. You can see for yourself. It's funny that everyone's accusing the Tates of using the lover boy method when, in fact, these women were pretending to be in love with the Tate brothers and that they brag about this fact. They brag about it in these conversations. They're bragging about how amazing actresses they are to one another and that they should be winning awards. They talk about wanting to contact Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime to get some kind of documentary made about them so they can get rich off the fact that they framed Andrew and Tristan. You've got conversations between one of these women and her own mother where she clearly states that she can leave whenever she wants. So that blows the whole human trafficking allegations right out of the water. Not only did these women lie to Andrew and Tristan, they also lied to Dicot, and Dicot believed them. It's a clear case of collusion and attempt to extort the Tate brothers. Now, investigative journalist Suleiman Ahmed has verified the legitimacy of these documents, and there are some people who are trying to claim that they're fake because there's a bunch of messages in a row that have the same timestamp. This was an error due to the date format that was used and the way it was imported into Excel. And this has been verified by uh, Suleiman Ahmed himself. A really interesting fact about all this information is that the Romanian police have had these transcripts since at least July of 2022, after the first raid on the Tate compound. So that begs the question then, why on earth did they detain Andrew and Tristan when they had all this information that proves them innocent in the first place? They decided to detain them anyway without charge and just keep them in jail for as long as they possibly can. I don't care if you're an Andrew Tech fan or not, this should be an international outrage. This is clearly a setup. These boys have been framed by two of the alleged victims. There's clear collusion there. Two of the other victims in the prosecution's case came out on Romanian TV defending the Tate brothers, saying that they're not victims in the first place. So where are the actual victims in this entire case? They don't exist. But still, the Romanian authorities have decided to detain Andrew and Tristan Tate for as long as they possibly can without charging them. Also, the prosecution have decided to not use any of the extensive CCTV footage that would prove the Tate brothers' innocence. So the only question that remains then is why are they still detained? They're detained and they haven't been charged. I cannot understand why the Romanian prosecution still thinks these men need to be detained, despite the fact that all of the evidence is pointing towards the fact that they are innocent.